Farmers who grow crops on thousands of acres of land often rely on specialized workers who are attentive to potential problems as they arise before it's too late. ABC 7's Drew Powell explains why field scouts are needed now more than ever in the Panhandle following years of extreme weather conditions and wildfires. A field scout is someone that's going to go into the field looking for those insect, weed, and disease problems in the field. Field scouting started in 1956 in Lubbock and has grown across the country. No doubt they play a vital role because they're like an extra set of eyes for ag producers and farmers. Anybody can go out and do a field and say that's cotton, that's sorghum, that's corn. Uh, very important to know what growth stages are and very important to know what the physiological aspects are and the entomological aspects are. Playing an important role for crop production are field scouts who work closely with producers to help make sure problems with insects and weeds are identified and treated as soon as possible. A field scouting school at Texas A&M AgriLife in Amarillo prepares them to stay on top of issues which arise from the weather throughout the growing season. The main thing is going to be the weather, the in environmental uh, uh, aspect of it. We're going to be pushed back, pushed around, and, and pushed aside uh, by the uh, Mother Nature here in West Texas just simply due to the fact that we get uh, a great rainstorm in May and then uh, it turns off in, in June and July. As we look at producers trying to optimize productivity throughout the season, it's really important that they do identify identify pests on a timely basis and that they are aware of the different physiological growth stage when pests might be more prevalent. Blaine Reed is an integrated pest management agent for Hale and Swisher counties. He says managing inputs precisely and efficiently as possible is vital for producers who are tasked with growing more food and fiber. Especially here in West Texas, we are a bread basket, but we're not an ideal environment to grow everything. We can grow anything, but we've got a short window to do it and we have very limited resources. We already have planters on the ground, so we have a lot of corn that's been planted. We have producers that are planting cotton right now, and so we have producers that are really active at this point. Drew Powell, ABC 7 News.